Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm making dinner in the crock pot. This is a creamy sausage and potato soup. I found this recipe on Pinterest, and although I changed it up a little bit like I usually do, it was super good, so I'm gonna leave the original recipe and my version down in the description box. So here I just have a package of cheddar smoked sausage, and I'm just gonna get this sliced up and brown it up a little bit in my skillet before I add it to the crock pot. While the sausage was cooking, I just got started on my potatoes. The recipe called for three russet potatoes, but mine were kind of small and sad, so I ended up using five. So I'm just gonna get these peeled up and chopped into one inch pieces. So I started by adding my chicken broth into my crock pot so that when I chopped up the potatoes, I could throw them in there and they wouldn't turn brown. And then I'm gonna add in my sausage and all of my seasonings. So the original recipe only called for like garlic and real onions, which you know by now that Adam doesn't like, and I think it called for pepper, but I ended up adding some garlic and onion powder, some parsley, some salt and pepper, and some Tony's Creole seasoning. Which if you've been here for a while you might notice that those are the five main things I put in almost anything because they're just good in everything. So once I added in my frozen corn and all of my seasonings, I just put the lid on this and put this on low for six hours. So now here we are at about two o'clock in the afternoon and I hadn't eaten anything yet and I was starving. So I decided to make a quick guacamole, which the boys also love. And this time I actually had some tomatoes and onions. So I threw those in as well. To season mine, I always just use some salt and pepper, some garlic and onion powder, some lemon juice, and this time I added in some dried cilantro. Uh, that was weird. What? <laughs> I've never seen an avocado do that. Yeah. I pulled the pin out and the middle came with it. Can I see? Is it bad? That's the one I asked if it was bad because it's freckly. Mm, there's a big hole in there now.
Is it good? Mm -hmm. I haven't really got it in yet. But what you good. eating? What are you eating? <laughs> so I'm gonna make the Irish soda bread to go with our dinner. So I need three and a half cups of flour. Oh, my baking soda. Teaspoon of baking soda. I don't remember this being so messy. <laughs> I haven't made it in a long time. Oh, come on. Cooperate with me, bread. Okay, so I've got this on parchment paper. The oven's at 375. And then it says to cut an X in the top and brush it with some melted butter and some more buttermilk. I haven't made this in a while and I don't remember it being this size, but I guess we'll see how it turns out. It's going to go in for 40 minutes on 375. So now that my soup's been cooking for about five and a half hours, I'm mixing two tablespoons of cornstarch into my milk, then I'm just going to get this stirred into the soup, and then it also says to wait till right before you serve pretty much to add the sour cream and cheddar cheese, but I decided to add it at the same time and it turned out just fine. So if you want to follow that and do it that way, that's fine, but this way worked too.
Once I got my milk and sour cream and cheese in there, I just put the lid back on and let this cook for about 30 minutes more. And this turned out so creamy and delicious. I did end up adding a little bit more Tony seasoning because we really like it, so this was kind of a Cajun-y version, like that Cajun sausage and pasta I made before. But yeah, it was delicious. Everybody loved it. Adam ate like three or four bowls of it, I think, so definitely a winner. We just served our soup with some extra cheddar cheese on top and some green onions. And then we had our Irish soda bread with butter on the side. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, we would love for you to join our YouTube family. So hit that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications. And we'll see you guys in the next one.